special meeting to discuss the situation in Haiti was convened in Jamaica over the weekend. The meeting was followed by a press conference on Monday. Chairing the press conference was chairperson of CARICOM, President Irfan Ali. All the stakeholders were in different meetings with one focus, that is to present options, to present ideas to the Haitian people so they can refine and own the solutions. I'm very confident that we have found commonality and we have found a common path through which we can support a Haitian-led solution and a Haitian-owned Haitian solution for the prosperity of Haiti and for the stability of Haiti. Jamaica's Prime Minister Andrew Holness said that the meeting was making progress. He described the situation in Haiti as a political and a humanitarian crisis. Haitian voices must be central to any deliberation towards a resolution of the situation. The Haitian people must feel and know that they are a vital part of the process, having ownership in its planning and implementation. He said that the region must resolve to end the situation in Haiti. He said that this time the region will do for Haiti what needs to be done. The region has already agreed that it would send a multinational security support mission to Haiti. The people of Haiti need and deserve nothing less than the safety, freedom, and prosperity that the first free black republic. United States Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, another participant in the meeting, said that Haiti is now the scene of escalated violence, unrest, and disturbances. This has created an untenable situation for the Haitian people. And we all know that urgent action is needed on both the political and security tracks to help move things in a better direction, to help do right by the people of Haiti. Um, we're here in Kingston today to listen, to listen to your ideas, but also to provide our concrete support for the way forward. I'm announcing today that the United States Department of Defense is doubling its approved support for the mission from $100 million to $200 million. And that brings the total U.S. support to $300 million for this effort. I'm also announcing additional humanitarian assistance for the people of Haiti, $33 million to further support their health and food security. However, according to Blinken, only the Haitian people can and should determine their future. But for more than 100 years, the United States had taken control of Haiti, never allowing the country to determine its own future.